Okay, so yeah, I'm going to do the one for 20, which is these beams here, and I'll do a small one as well here, for example. Um, for 20, we're going to use the 20 and 6, so you can use the 20 here and make a 15, 8. I'm just going to use the 16 and 8 in this case. Again, 16, 8. So I select one of them, the beams. I edit the type, always duplicate, and you say what? 16 and 8. Now the small one first, no? So 16, sorry, the small one here, 8, 16. Now we have to change it here. So we, the small one here is 8 inches, 16 inches. Okay. Say so okay. And that one changes. Now we have to select by pressing control each of the beams one by one, the ones that correspond with the flight. Now that one's smaller, but we're gonna use I'm gonna use the same one. I'm gonna place that as 816. No? Good. I'm gonna do the last one so we understand a little bit further. Um, again it, you're going to have to do it nevertheless, so you can place dimensions, and I, the shortcut is DI. You put it in the middle, that's when I say before, between the ending point of architecture and and the bubbles, you select that line in the middle. So I'm going to use the, for example, the 10, just to be in a small size. I select 1, I go to the chart, 10 is 8 and 4, okay? 8 and 4 means I edit type, duplicate, 8, sorry, first is the small, 4, 8, okay, 4 inches, 8 inches. You say okay, and there is, it changes. Now all the small ones, you could select them in a different way, like that, and pressing control like this, filter out, just get only the the framing girder. You say OK, and here's where you change it to the new one, which is four eight. Again, that's perfect, no? So this spans, for example, are going to be twenty and six. You use also the tw the sixteen and eight, which we have done already. So in that sense, it's going to be a bit more easy going. I'm going to select by pressing Control, filter out, none. Now all of those uh, beams are going to be, as I say, 16. What did I say? Let me see. 168, which is 816. And there it goes. See that little thing? That's because I didn't delete those little mistakes that I mentioned before. So let's do it now. 3D. Again, just so you remember, wireframe WF. There's this little inconvenience when you place uh, beams in, on grids that sometimes happen. It shouldn't, but sometimes happens. Uh, so I select them in a smart way with the 3D and delete them. That means that if I go to the level one structural, that little box disappears. Okay. Next. So this way is going to change your S100 foundation plan. It's going to have a lot of tags and box tags, etc. No? Okay, the slab. We're going to do a concrete slab 12. So for that, we're going to start with a generic 12 floor. Um, and we're going to change the material to concrete. Now we haven't changed materials before, so let me explain that a bit. Um, if I go to structure, what is where we have to go, and create a structural floor, floor structural, I can select the generic 12, but I want to make it in concrete lightweight. So I'm going to say duplicate, and I'm going to call it concrete slab 12 inches. I'm going to say OK. The only thing that changes from this type is that if I press edit, 
is the material here that it says by category. If you click on this little symbol here, it opens up the mat material library of Revit. Now, f for many purposes, this material library is actually for rendering, okay? But it's also to define what the material is of an object. So it's a little bit of both things at the same time. So we're going to use type concrete here to search for the material of concrete. There's several of them. We're going to choose the lightweight one and say OK. It says there, say OK. OK. Now, to place my slab, I'm going to do it in a different way compared to what is mentioned here, which is doing the rectangle. You can do this one as well. I'm going to do it in the 3D. Why not? And I'm going to draw the rectangle on top, exactly snapping to the top perimeter lines. What? I'm going to snap to this point. And I'm going to say, OK. It's going to tell me where the walls are. You want them to be snapped to the, to the bottom. You say yes. I think it's going to give me another issue. Hi. I'm going to say detach targets. And I'm going to hit in line because I was all this time with wireframe. And I have that, which is actually let me do a section so we can see it a bit better. Ah, I have it. Double click, triangle. This is the slab I just created. When I said yes to the question, you want to bring the walls up. These walls were automatically stored underneath or just attached to the bottom of it. And these are the columns. The columns, you see that blue point here in the top? It's a little difficult to see. That's actually the top of the beam. Okay. We'll see that later on that it could be changed if you want. But for now, I'm going to keep it there. And probably next class, we'll fix those little details. Okay. You can see also that these beams we changed. They're the 1632, and these ones are different beams. So basically, all of the beams are shown correctly once you have fixed them in your uh, structural plan. Good. So that's pretty much doing rectangles. I'm going to do, uh, do it again from here. I'm going to do a slab. So floor, structural, make sure that we're doing the concrete slab. I'm going to do a rectangle. And again, you can do it in the plan if you want, in the one, but I'm, I'm going to do it here. And I'm going to say, OK. and answer the same questions in the same way. Basically, yes, to pop up the, the floors level to attach to its bottom. I'm going to delete targets. OK, at the end, it should look a little like that. Here we see the green lines, not because we hide the green lines in previous uh, views. It's hidden in other views, so you have to actually hide it category from each of the views you don't like that green line anymore. Okay, I'm going to do the, the floor structural in the rest of the spaces that we need to. I'm going to move around here, snap here, and here. Say OK. Say yes. Detach. And last floor structural rectangle snap to the corner snap K okay. yes and join this is a, something that could happen to you to say yes you want to save it so you don't mess around with that and and call it what well, just as it tells you Hopefully it doesn't close. Um, there is. But what it did is basically did not snap the walls to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is again is attach top base and attach it to the floor. Okay. So I think here we see also some weird things from the the columns, which I'm going to fix in the next video. Very simple. But basically we're done with the first section already. Let me